today we are talking about the escapes of salvation. To escape means to free yourself or to avoid something. All right, you avoid something, then you said you have escaped. So, how shall we escape? We are looking at the escape. Salvation helps us to free ourselves from certain things, to avoid certain things. So, salvation brings a lot of escapes. And there are a number of them I want to share with you today. Salvation can make you escape so many things. The first thing you escape through salvation, when you accept the Lord, give your life to God, walk with God, allow your life to be coached by his word, there are things you escape. Number one, you escape the vanity of this life. The vanity of this life. Salvation will make you escape it will make you escape it. When you leave this life to a certain level or to a certain age or you get to a certain time, you will notice that the whole of life is just vain. That was what Solomon noticed in Ecclesiastes chapter 2. From the verse 17 to 26, he talked about the vanity of life. After he had lived a very good life, built houses, had servants, had all the best, had plenty wives, successful in everything, had all the monies. When he was near his death, he looked back and said, vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. This life, when you look at life well and assess life well, you may come to the conclusion that indeed, it is vain. It is meaningless. Just a routine. You sleep, you wake up, you take your bath, you brush your teeth, you go to work, you come back home tired, you sleep again, you get up. And those of you who have time for girlfriends, you are chasing girlfriend club, you are boozing, you booze, you have hangover, you sleep, you get up, confused. At the end of it, what, 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 what really have you achieved? What really have you achieved? Oh, I yeah, built a big house. That big house is only one room you will sleep inside. And that one room, too, there's one bed. And that one bed, if you and your wife are sleeping on it, when you push, you say, How, why have you come to my side? You, you have your side. Everybody has a side. So at the end of it, when you examine life very well, Without Jesus, without salvation, without looking for eternity, without looking for something, then life, in, in fact, is just vain. It's just accumulation of days and age, and I'm now, I'm now 70 years. All of this struggle, 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 wahala, being insulted by your Indian uh, supervisor. At the end of the day, what is it? What, what, what is it? You look at the, all this struggle, how you struggle, pay connection, man, and they do all things to come here. You thought it was easy. When you came here, it's not that easy. So, so wahala issues, case here. Even yesterday, the police were on your case. So at the end of the day, when you examine like Ecclesiastes chapter 8, let's look at a few, a few things. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verses 15 and 16. Solomon will say this thing in Ecclesiastes 8, 15 and 16. He said, when he examines life, eh, when he, exam he said, I commend, I commend it, then I commend that myth. Because a man has no better thing under the sun. To eat, to drink, and to be merry. For that shall, no, no, let's go give me that. To marry, be married, for that shall abide with him of his labor the days of his life, which God has given him under the sun. All this eating, marry, drinking is just for a short time. Yes, the, the day you, you die, and then that's it. Verse 16. When I apply my heart to know wisdom and to see the business that is done upon the earth, for also the race that neither day nor night sleepeth with his eyes. You can't sleep properly. You can't really enjoy. Some of you, even the houses you are built in Ghana, is this boy, Inusa, who is the boy, he's the one enjoying your swimming pool. 
You see, when I enjoy it, you see me, you have never jumped into that swimming pool before. And especially if you're an Asante guy, you don't even know how to swim. So at the end of the day, the whole thing is just vanity. Meaningless. So if you don't accept Jesus into your life and live for a higher purpose, live for eternal purpose, listen, you will come to the realization that life is just meaningless. So one day Paul will write to Timothy, his son, in the Lord. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15, 16, thereabout, he wrote to him and he said, that from a child you have known the Holy Scriptures, which is able to make you wise unto salvation through faith which is in Jesus Christ. In other words, he wrote to his son and said, listen, boy. And he was also a younger pastor. He said, listen, if, you, if, if it was not because of salvation that you have, eh, you would have been a big fool by now. It is salvation that has made you wise. Otherwise, you are being a big fool following after all these girls jumping around. We are going here. We are going there. We are going there. All these girls you are following. It's vanity. It's vanity. Maybe in our olden days, it was a little better than even today. Today, the girls are acrylic girls. Acrylic nails. Acrylic hair. Acrylic bottles. Acrylic breasts. Acrylic hips. Everything you see, 75% is not, is not proper. Acrylic, everything you are seeing there that you are chasing after big, 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 big. nothing is real. The thing is not real. Even the bottles is not real. So so acrylic. <laughs> if there's a lady by you, just press the pen. They are not talking about you. Just feel be okay, be okay. They are not talking about be okay. <laughs> <laughs> so without salvation you will just wake up and you will realize that life is vain life is meaningless this life i'm living where is it going you are arguing defending fighting doing this at the end of the day where will it take you where will it take you you are fighting politics we won't agree the election we won't do we have postponed we are in power we are holding on how much can you hold on how much can you hold on? It is only by grace that you are alive. It is only by grace. Maybe you thought this morning you got up because your alarm clock, then you got up. I can take you to a mortuary with 100 alarm clocks. Put it there. Let it ring and see if somebody will get up. It is God who puts you like this and you got up. Just by grace. If you don't live with your life and accept Jesus, eh, you will not escape the vanity of this world. You will think you are chasing something. You are trying to enjoy life. You are trying to do something. You are At the end of the day, you will wake up to see that it's vanity. Sometimes with sickness, with disease, with incurable things. You see that all, all of life is vanity. Number two, the escapes of salvation. You are listening to Pastor Boniface. The escapes of what? Salvation. Salvation number two will cause you to escape from demonic, destructive, diabolical spirit and manipulative agent. They will write it, you will see. It will cause you, salvation will cause you to escape from destructive and manipulative spirit. This world we live in. Yesterday, those of you were here. I told you, Jesus said in Matthew 6, 13. When you pray, pray that lead, uh, deliver us from evil. The world we live in is an evil world. There is evil in this world. There is wickedness in this world. There is, there is so much pain in this world. Yeah. And one of the perpetrators of evil and diabolical things in this earth are spirit. You don't see. When you do lab tests, you can't see spirit. There are spirits that are perpetrators of evil. And they are all around. And until you are saved and washed by the blood of Jesus, and Jesus is in your life, the spirit don't fear your certificate. They don't care how polished you are. 
And the English you speak and do your nose and even they don't fear it. They don't fear it. They don't fear where you live and how many bodyguards you have around you. You can't deter spirits with bodyguards. There are sp- this world we live in. Eh? I said there are destructive spirits that, that are all around. You may be a nice person, but they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. You are harmless. You don't want anybody's trouble, but spirits don't care. So 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. He said, And the God of this world has blinded their eyes. This spirit can blind your eyes. That Something that is very obvious, you can't see. Something that is very obvious, that everybody can see, that this thing is so clear. You, you can't see. Because spirits are, are blind, have blinded your eyes. Yeah. Isn't it an irony that you will see a man with a very beautiful wife, very serviceable, caring, selfless, know how to cook is always available and the man has left this wife and is chasing after some ugly girl they were they were hard things who is very stubborn and insultive and this one is disrespectful girl and this man said he has gotten a chick and you wonder you wonder this man can't see so your eye you know your eye know they see but something has blinded his eyes maybe the girl has done something and uh, done something and so he can't see his mind everything is being controlled he's being manipulated and because you don't have christ you cannot even when we tell you you are manipulated you even fight us but there are evil spirits that are in this world they can blind your eyes they can paul said in ephesians chapter 2 Verses 1 to 3. Paul said in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. He said, in time past, when I was not saved, when he was not saved, he said, he said and you has he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sin. Verse 2. Wherein in time past, you walked according to the course of this world. In other words, you just move by whatever comes into your mind, whatever dictates for you. There was a course set for you, and you, you just followed. You did things anyhow. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in children of disobedience. When we tell you there is a spirit working in you, you will never agree. The way you have become, maybe a demon spirit is sitting on your shoulder like a monkey. Just whispering into your ear, do this, do this. You think all these people, bad people, killing people, you think it's a normal thing. They are possessed. There's a spirit. So if you are not saved, if you, are, you don't have this salvation, this spirit can mess up with your life. Make you do bad things, nasty things. It is only the day you will be saved that your eyes will open. You say, oh, look at what I've done. For instance, if you read Emmanuel Eni's book, Delivered from the Powers of Darkness, he said when he, was, when he was not saved and he was following after all these things, there came a time he wanted more power. And they say he should fast 40 days, 40 nights. And the 40 days, 40 nights, he should not sleep in the house. He should sleep in a cemetery. 40 days, 40 nights, he was sleeping in a cemetery. And after the fasting, he was to break the fast with human excreta. And he did all this for power. Because spirits are possessing you. Until you are saved. Until you are, no matter how nice you are. You see all these laws they pass. You think it's normal human beings will pass some useless laws like that? Spirits. Spirits. Controlling people. People with PhD. People with degrees. They don't know. They have book knowledge. They have economics. Scale of preference. Opportunity cost. But they cannot, they cannot jump over demons and spirits. Demons and spirit are all over. And even when you are saved, when you have received salvation, and you are not serious with your salvation, these demons will still influence your life, manipulate your life, spoil your life. So that is why you need salvation. Salvation is what will make you escape from these powers and forces that are in this world with us. Number three, salvation 
will also cause you to escape from losing your soul. Your soul is a vital part of you. One day, this body will send you to cemetery. But the soul will live forever. The day the soul will live from your body, that's the day we say you are dead. When God created man, man was lying down, just a piece of uh, uh, what is clay. There was no soul in man until God came down and breathed on him the breath of life. Then the Bible said man became a living being. So it is that soul in you that makes you move, smile, talk, and do everything. The day that soul will live, you can't smile to anybody. When your eyes are like this, they will come and do it like that. Because you can't close it by yourself. So your soul matters. Your, your soul is more important than the car you drive. And than everything you are thinking about in this life. That's why Jesus said in Matthew 16, 26. What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? If he loses his soul and gains the whole world. What will you give? Your soul is of so great value. And your soul needs to be saved. And there is nothing that can save your soul. Drinking so below cannot save your soul. Doing gym cannot save your soul. Having academic degrees cannot save your soul. Speaking cannot save your soul. Living in an advanced world cannot save your soul. Nothing can save your soul. Having friends who are diplomats cannot save your soul. Having a political party ticket cannot save your soul. The only person who can save your soul is Jesus. So in Matthew, in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to 29, he said, Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and, and, and I will give you rest. In the verse 29, he says something. Take my yoke upon you, learn of me, for I am meek and lowly. No, no, go ahead, verse 29. I mean, and you shall find rest for your souls. In other words, your soul will be saved if you come to me. Without Jesus, no, nothing can save your soul. Sitting down, crossing your leg, doing incantation, rising up, raising your leg, doing yoga, can never save your soul. Nothing can save your soul. So we see to somebody cannot save your soul. I've gone to give a seed. A seed don't save soul. It is only Jesus and the finished work on the cross that will save your soul. So without salvation, your soul will never escape. Your soul is only escape. You will escape from losing your soul only when you are saved. Only when you are saved. That's why First Peter chapter 2 verse 25 calls Jesus the bishop, the shepherd and the bishop of our souls. Jesus is the shepherd. Jesus is the only one qualified to take that title. Shepherd and bishop of your soul. So when you don't submit your soul to Jesus, your soul can never be saved. And even after you have submitted your soul to Jesus, you need to walk with him and be consistent, believe his word, obey the word. Because James chapter 1 verse 21 tells us that through the word, then your soul continually will be saved. Wherefore, lay aside all filthiness, James 1 21, and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. So even if you are saved, you need to constantly walk in the word so that your soul will continually be saved. So number one, it is only through salvation that you will escape the vanity of this life. Number two, it is only through salvation. What did I say? Well, through salvation that you will escape from the destructive and manipulative spirit in this world. Number three, it is only through salvation that your soul can be saved. So if you, don't, if you don't receive God, you don't receive the free salvation that comes through Jesus, your soul can never be saved. I'm Pastor Boniface, preaching from Lighthouse. If you don't receive Jesus, your soul can never be saved. Number four, the escapes of salvation. Through salvation, you escape from the wrath of God. We are, we are diving into deeper waters. 
through salvation. Do you know wrath? Wrath simply means anger, but not normal anger. Hot anger. Hot anger. Imagine. You see, the last time your husband was angry with you, the whole house, you were not comfortable. Everything changed. The atmosphere in the house changed. Even the TV. When you see Ronaldo, you say it's messy. Because of the, the temperature that was in the house. Now imagine, imagine, imagine the president, the prime minister, is suddenly angry at the office. Everybody's hot. Because somebody's work can be lost. Somebody's position, you can, you can fire you now. When the president is very angry, there can be a reshuffle the next morning. So if a president, the human being is angry, it's not an easy thing. How much more God? When God is angry, and it's not normal anger, rough, hot anger. John chapter 3 verse 36. The Bible said the anger of God, the wrath of God is upon people who are not saved. Anybody who is walking in this world and ignore salvation. God's anger is on you. God's wrath. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. But he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abides on that person. The hot anger of God is on that, that personality. Without salvation, you are walking on this earth, smiling, taking selfie. Putting, changing your WhatsApp profile picture. But God is angry with you. God is angry with you and you don't know when he will just do bah, and the earth will break up and you are swallowed. The one who owns heaven and earth is angry with you. And you are walking about thinking everything is okay. Smiling and going to Mandarin. You think life is, you think life is normal. Meanwhile, God oh, the, the owner of the heavens and the earth, the one who when he kill, nobody can take him to any court. He is angry with you. And you are okay. When you are not safe, it doesn't matter you follow us and you came to church or you have been coming to this church all the time. When you are not safe, God is angry with you. He said, I should tell you. Yeah. Romans chapter 1 verse 18. Romans 1 18. When you are not safe, the anger, the wrath of God. The, f- f- Romans 1 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven. Against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. Anybody who is living ungodly, unrighteous, don't have any time for God. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven on you. And that's why when you read the account in Revelation, one day God will pour that wrath during the great tribulation. And even now, he can decide to just pour his wrath on you. And in pouring that wrath, you see it in sequence. First, it would, there would be the seven seals. When they open one seal, one of the wrath will come. They open another up to the seven. Then after that, there will be the trumpet, seven trumpet judgment. When you open each one, the, then there will be the bow, the vile judgment. When God's wrath starts to come on you, when you go home, take your time and read Revelation chapter 15. Maybe you can just look at one. And I saw another sign in heaven, a great, great and marvelous seven angels having the seven plagues for in them is filled up with the wrath of God. The wrath, God has calculated it and filled it with bows. When he released one on you. And as you are walking like that, if God points his hand on you one day and say, you fool, I'm angry with you. That's the end of you. Hey, God should have mercy. The only way you can escape God's wrath, the only thing that appeal to God's wrath is the blood of Jesus. That's why the Bible said, without shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. So if you don't accept this Jesus into your life, to cover up God's anger, to, to eradicate it, take it out of your life, you are walking, but God's anger is on you. That's what it means. It is only salvation that makes you escape the anger, the wrath of God. Number three, it is only salvation that will make you escape from perishing. Perishing. Rescue the perishing. Hey, if you don't get saved, you will perish. That's the main reason why Jesus came to this earth. John 3, 15 and 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son 
that whosoever believe in him should not perish. We pastors have changed it. We have made it. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him will drive BMW. Marry wise, will be blessed, will get papers, oh, will not suffer at all, will have breakthroughs. So we have changed it. We have changed it. And you church people have helped us to change it. When Jesus said we should not change the scriptures, you people have helped us because you have itching ears. You have helped us to change it. Jesus did not come because of your BMW. Jesus did not come because of your marriage. Jesus came so that you will not perish. You will not end up being destroyed. To perish means to be destroyed. And Jesus told us in John 10.10 10, that that is the agenda of the devil. For the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus has come so that Satan will not steal you, kill you, and destroy you. So if you don't accept Jesus, you will eventually be destroyed. You will eventually perish. And you will start from this earth. You will start. You will see the signs. That you, have been, you are walking in the wood to getting destroyed. It's like you are driving on a speed, high speed on a highway. And you have to cross a certain bridge. And the bridge is taking off and you don't know. And you are going. Nobody has told you. You are just going straight. Everybody is looking at you to go and die. And that's how people are doing. Are, it's like you are spending money. You are okay. You are this. You are going. You are going. You are going. At the end of the day, it's only distraction. That's why the Bible said there's a way that seemed good to a man. But the end of it is distraction. Jesus is only when you accept salvation that you will escape from distraction. There's distraction in this world. Do you understand what I'm talking about? There is distraction. Otherwise, you will perish. In Luke chapter, uh, in first Peter, of second Peter chapter uh, 3 verse 9, Jesus, uh, Peter says something. He said, sometimes we think God is slow. Sometimes we think, oh, this God, he won't even come. I hear some people say on social media, oh, Jesus will not even come again. Sometimes we are saying all these things because we don't know what God feels for us. God is doing all these things and doing all these delay tactics with you just because he doesn't want you to perish. That's what Peter said. He said, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrawise blessing, knowing that you are, what is it, Second Peter? Second Peter chapter 3 verse 9. You are giving me first Peter. Alright, thank you very much. So, he said, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but long-suffering to us word, not willing that anyone should perish. That's why God is taking his time. That's why yesterday you slept with your boyfriend, but today you are in church and nobody has seen you, and it's like everything. If we are taking communion now, you eat some. It's be, yeah. It's because you, 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 you think everything is okay. Everything is okay. It's because God is just giving you rope. A long rope. He's just patient with you. Because he feels for you to be destroyed. That's all. He feels for you. He feels for you. That's why. So distraction. You can only escape perishing. If you accept the Lord. Without salvation. One day they came to Jesus and they told him. They said, sir. The king, is it Herod or Pilate? Can, can I read Luke chapter 13? They told him, except I think it's Pilate. It's then that happened. And Jesus answering said unto him, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all Galileans. No, 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 not at all. Then the verse 3 he said, He said, I tell you, except you repent, you will in likewise perish. In other words, what has happened to them, the king, through, the Satan through the king, has been able to kill them and destroy them. And they are even going to face final destruction. But don't let that be the case. The way you die is not the issue. When you die, is so pathetic. Everybody is crying. They say, oh, it's not fair. They, they, they. Jesus said, those are not the real issue. The real issue is that no matter how you die, if you didn't repent, if you didn't save, save your life through accepting Jesus, you perish. You perish. So salvation is what will cause you to have escape from perishing. Number six, salvation gives you escapes from hell fire. There is hell. You may choose not to believe it. Even in sorters. And when you die, you will believe. Every, that's why the Bible says, every knee will bow. 
Some may bow here. Some will bow in eternity. Some will bow in hell, begging, but it will be too late. The rich man went to hell and bowed and was begging, but it was too late. So no matter what, you can insult all of us, insult the church, insult the pastor, but one day you bow. Hell is real. It is only through salvation that you avoid it. Deuteronomy 32, 22 tells us that this hell is beneath, is beneath. And there is fire deep down in hell. And the force of the fire in hell, when it pushes up a little bit and comes to the surface, when the fire is down and comes to the surface, it means it is now cooling down. The cooler part of the fire, when it escapes and comes to the earth, it forms volcano. You volcano, mountain magma, liquid fire. That's the coolest part. You want to go there? You, you want to go there? Oh, God will never put anybody there. Even in this world, we tax on people. This one is a thief. This one is this. This one is this. This one is this. And they go and put them in prison. We human beings have selected certain people that they shouldn't live with us. You think God will allow everybody to come and live with him? So that the gold in heaven, you come and steal it. Because there are some men, when they go to heaven, they will rape all the angels. <laughs> so there is a hell. And they say, that's why Jude, Jude chapter 1, Jude is only one chapter, 21, 22, 23, especially 22 and 23, the Bible said, we Christians must snatch some people from hellfire through preaching salvation. Because they are going there. So he said, snatch them. Keep yourself, go to the next verse, 22. 22 says, Jude, verse 22. And of some have mercy, making a difference. 23 says, 23. And others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire. There is a hellfire. Jesus said, I will show you who to fear. Matthew 10, 28. He said, fear God. Because he's able to kill you and put your soul in hellfire. It is only when you receive Jesus and get salvation that you escape from hellfire. I'm Pastor Boniface. Light as assembly of God. I'm preaching to you. I said, it is only through salvation you escape hellfire. Number seven, it is only through salvation you will escape the second death. There is something called the second death. When you are born, you are born once. When you die, that's you die. But the Bible said in Revelation chapter 2 verse 11 that there is something called second death. You don't understand what it is. When you die without Christ, they will go and bury this in your body. Your soul will find itself in hellfire. But that is uh, John Shin wasting for bars. The hell that we have just described. It is John Shin uh, station. You are waiting for bars for your final destination. So at the final hour, your soul will be removed from that hellfire and put in the lake of fire. The lake of fire, the Bible calls it the second death. If you are born once in this world, you will die two times. You will die the first death and you die the second death. If you are born twice, your, your mother gave birth to you, then you are born again. Then you only die once. The second death has no power over you. That's what the Bible says. So there's a lake of fire. It is full of fire, liquid fire, sulfuric. Very, very sulfuric. Sulfur inside. You are burning and boiling. That's the final destination of anybody who decides not to accept Jesus Christ. I challenge you. What are you waiting for? And how long will you stay back and say, I won't accept Jesus? I won't accept Jesus. I, mean, I don't even like this church matter. Today could be your day of salvation. You may be the reason why I'm preaching and sweating like this. Why don't you give your life to Jesus? Why don't you ask Jesus to come into your life? It is only through salvation that you can escape. Can I have all the seven? Through salvation that you can escape. You can escape the vanity of this life. It is only through salvation that you can escape the destructive spirit of this world. It is only through salvation that you can escape the, from you can escape from losing your soul. 
It is only through salvation that you can escape from the wrath of God. It is only through salvation that you can escape from perishing. It is only through salvation that you can escape from hellfire. And at last, it is only through salvation that you can escape from the lake of fire. Wherever you are, if you just listen to me, I challenge you, consider Jesus. Ask him to come into your life. Ask him to come into your life. Ask him to Sem kwaje ati se ye ye mwa. Ebe den ye jwani e fri mwefi. E den ye fri mwefi ye. Niyama bebre ye. Niyama bebre ye nan kwaje e jw fri mw. Wen ni mkwaje a sa niyama nina wa osu tu mi. Niyama bebre ye nan kwaje e ti me jiwo ni pa e fri mw. So fubwa ni fesi ni ye light house of war. Me se niyama bebre ye nan kwaje e ti me jw fri mw. Ni ye dikay. E mkwaje e jw fi e huhu bre mw. Sen kwache ni wabra bomu a ewi ase ni ya ko ya ba akutrisi nyina na na wo furu na wo tumni kana twa na ko furu bas na fu tre na bi tu jawo ni nyina babobo ni abeke kan nyina asie no o se ah na nti wi ase kra mfaso wo ben na wo so nti solomon se wo hwe ni nyina na wo se adija de en kwache pe en ase wonya uno se ah mate wo brase Wabra, afi matiasi ye. Na mini mise ntia, metiasi ye. E na hati mikasa metiasi ya, metima krisu. Na se mi wunsua, e ya madinyade ye. Se wani mkweja, ni ya woye nyi nada. E japadie bebre, awe sunsume si suwe yi. Ube wuma nkrofobia, bwa mwa chwe di atu, edru. Keke. E ya mkweje, usu mkweje na hatu tono fomi. Ni ya tosu mienu. E mkweje, ene jufri au mwanisem. E wiasi ya yewe yi. A mwani waha, a da mwani waha, e wye mwe tu mfuo, e ni spirit, e waha. Kwa ni se, wani akate ni peni, e fre ni peni. Ti to debi ya ushe ni pa, se a, debi, e ya no kre. Ushu wabi pa, yiri bi ya wesinu hon. Waba papa, waba sono, waba wate, awadi asye. E bu ni pa, e di bu, e ni mkutu, e e kutu ni kunu. Nuhu kunu ne jano ho. Nuhu diba haku biyechi. Girl, you move my pa. What then? Then what then? Then so have your friend. What then? Then we shake it, yeah. Zim, 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 zim. What then? Then now, boy, 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 you think you're who jai? Girl, you are running on a cropa. No one move the hands. No one move the. Wakasa kasa ni wini mu na chingon dana ni mta ta ta na boi dineji se ni huu humbi ni wadi ayana na ni fia befo yemkrasi fo tumi bi pia pia u esel e wiasi ni wajewo mu no se wa ni Kristo se tumi no yemfa huu meni mu inchi mfa wanso yemfa bribi inchi mfa wanso jisa Yesu e pene ba wabra bomo a e beti me chia fa se tumi no so amen. Se mkweche e ni wabra bomua wakrabe jira. Wakra. We unu yesu wa wakrabe jira. Unipa wa wasa sisu wabia niye. Niyapa ya wakra. Edamre kusi. Unipa wa di diamena akra ansu komdeno. Wakra ni niyapa. Yesu se. Edien unipa biti basa sa ne kra. Se wenye wiasi adinya diye nye nada. Nuwa shire ne kra ya. Yesu se se enipa ni nimu nsisem. Yes, who called Juma woke up tired? Yes, who born if it's neck? I say you. Who called Juma woke up tired? The other five, five, a ma ya noa. Yeah, yeah. What's your word to two? No one knew I was a salmon. Was salmon seven? When's my mother be 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 dig dig a boka? When you must say. And what's your be be a fun school? I walk well through. Who called Yale? Who called one? Why? Why? You must be a boy. And fun York. You are going to be a. So why am I fire you? When you must say. Book on him. Because I said, Dear Nipper, and the best son, a cry. Be 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 Nyamie bufu wa osu. Obi biye wo ni mkwe jenu. Nyanko pao e bufu wa osu. Nyamie bufu shu. 
e wo so wona ma wo ko be nyina nya me abu fu she wo so no one strike ye ntia one strike ye ntia wo fu se bebi aye okay na no kra wo twema ankrofo obi kenyam sam wo di so fu na tem wo fu se bebi aye okay hwe anya wo ko fie nsu fufu e de ma wo anto amie no wo wie ye wo wie nti wo fu se bebi anya herod ne nam a wo dwa nanum dwa nanum no fu se bebi ani ho ko se da ade no ku wa ne ye ma na nya me som abofo ba ko wadi ade bo ni tim se no atofom no adane samo a nya me bufo wo ni pa bi so o wadi asori ata we ni ase na odi di agro asori mu na wo pe gas asori mu na wo twem bra hwe 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 wo pe gas wo bi aba asori ani abere be hwe hwe akọ no wo na abe se no nya me bufo wo so o na hwe abra bo ye praise the lord Money so for Boniface and Asia. Messing Yammy a poof fool, and yet come once at me. Amen. Near the hobby. So when Nippa Nim Quetcha, who Nim Quetcha, who Nim Quetcha, who bezira, who bezay. It is only salvation that will uh, give you escape from perishing. Who Nim Quetcha, who bezay, who beko say him. The Nippa be brea say, oh, we are seeing Mumpo. The da and San Omebura, baby Amubekura. When you quit, what say ye? What say what we found by? So what be we are? No, what come no say? What say ye? Never bow so. So ni anyango pon do we are sinis. So what then a bar? What don't know crow? Am I? So what be a bet in what day no? What say? What nira? What say? What say ye? Amana ko em. Ebu siya. So yesu ni wa brabo mu a brabo mu ube dru bebu mu so wa shasi e seba. Na dan ko madi e. Ukoto was say ye kesi. A radi mwao. Na fu waku mama yesu. Se yesu ni wa brabo mwa. Bun uh, ye friend say hell. Ube koho. Ye friend bun sem jemuno. Ube koho. Yesu pen wobe chu charge wo. Yesu pen wo timi man in sasu wo. Nyame kot waka se. Uh, point of order. No mo bisa se di asem. Wasi mami ya mosi wanko hon. Mi mo jan wa jemu. Enti ni bwani yina ya pepa. Wako wa enko. Na Yesu we you we frim. Yesu ni mu ahe no beko. He no beko. Na he na se ne tie no ye ntwa wo fo ni ni nkyere wa wo nti ase ye. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Moses hu mu e friend Deuteronomy no. Ehe. 32. Eh 30 32 of verse 22. Wo se he le ho no. E wa asase ase. Le janu e sho ase ye wono. Se janu e bi pifa ho. Na ye se e ba asase ni a. E be dru asase ni na adwo. Baby, yes, she and a whole wapa. The bedwas I see in Najo. Now, Niajo, and only a bit pity, I see at quick as he. Now, one year, and yes, she and Okotomwa was in when he made a memory. Massa cram one more poor. Abusia, Mommy, and she, and she are brabo ye. So, when Nick Christoa, when he in Quetcha, near Chatwo, or who pray no, no, and Pareo. And then you will pray no. Your friend will lake of fire. Hell and one would nipa quad that honor, and your honey will be a what they are yet. You be a year, baby, be you, huh? As you are doing called dormitory. O dormitory, papa, no, your friend will lake of fire. We jatta, dear, you say lake bosom tree. Lake is ah, but you will jat. No jano, who bet me a sum. We done here liquid fight, eh? Never boss roche, a bossa. Ya two two mwa, a boss watch is a new you up in a sand one room. That forever and ever, Tanetti. Oh, I mean to me, yes, sir. Ye nipa cry, yet to me, chubby, be said, or some one fatas or ten nipple. Can you not prison my ya here for new chunk of whistle? Prison by a near ye nipa nubi, yes, a senior tiano, one timid ten nipple, yet now got nefiasse. Now for saying yame and wabem will be a abba. What in quite a bray or the years to a bray. Opunwa, wa o se ujejereje. E ne ye ni asofu wano, ye 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 anu atu nchayi, e na niye hiya ni ye kachire nipa. Ube nyan wig fufro. Mi hun se u nyan Brazilian wig. Wobi e u a, 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 wobi ni e prichichira nipa se fa o kra ni onipa dua ma kristo no anye wonkwa 
Kase che du masi gospel ban. Oni nyomba akui. Oni pa besi. Wasa si so. Oni pa besi. Wasa si so. Me bo mu na ma fre. Na me yi. Mi die wom. Me bo. Na ma fre. Na me yi. Me si obe bo mu na wa fre o. Na wa yi ni die wom. Oh, Chani, I could see that day. Oh, Bebo. Oh, Bebo. Now, where ye? When my dear friend said, You do my sick gospel ban. Oh, Nipa Bessie. What's I see so? Oh, Nipa Bessie. Oh, what's I see so? So, trust in your mumpy, you drop at your water. Now, where ye? Yo, true time, Ebushia. Yanko Ponchamo. If you are new to this channel, click the subscribe button. If you are not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. If you are not subscribed, please click the like button. If you are not subscribed, click the like button. If you are not subscribed, please click the like button. If you are not subscribed, please click the like button. If you are not subscribed, please click the like button. If you are not subscribed, please click the like button. If you are not subscribed, please click the like button.